Welcome. In front of me is a Google Pixel 6, and today I'll show you how to go through the setup process of this phone. So when you boot it up for the first time, you'll be presented with this uh, welcome to your Pixel screen, and all you get to do is choose your language right here, and have some assistive options as well, so you can choose if you want to use some uh, vision settings and so on, but I'm not going to go into that. I'm going to stick with just a language and then select get started. Which brings me to the next page, uh, inserting your SIM card. Then you have the way uh, or option to insert your SIM card, or you can also use an eSIM if you want to do that. But I won't be inserting any kind of SIM here. So I'll select skip, and then that brings me to the Wi-Fi connection, uh, which obviously allows me to connect to Wi-Fi. Now, uh, I'll give one info. If you choose to not insert a SIM card right now, nor connect to your uh, Wi-Fi, you won't see the option to log into your Google account throughout the setup process. And additionally, date and time probably won't be set automatically or correctly. So this only applies for the device that is not connected to any kind of network. Now, once you do connect to network, uh, after the setup, you can still change all those settings. Uh, I believe date and time will be set up, changed automatically once it detects the network. And uh, Google account can be simply added once you connect to Wi-Fi or mobile data uh, through settings under accounts. So don't worry about that one. It's everything can be changed later on anyway. Then next page we have Google services. So we have location, scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. So brief version of all of these is uh, Location as a GPS tracking, uh, scanning allows the device to look for signals like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and then send user and diagnostic data allows Google to spy on you. So I'm just going to disable that and go to the next page. And next page allows us to set some kind of protection to our device. By default, it opts into a four-digit pin, but you can tap right here on the screen lock options to change it to something else like a pattern or password if you want to. Or if you don't want to use anything, you can simply skip it. Additionally, once you set up a screen lock, you can also add a fingerprint if that is something that you wanted to do. Uh, but because I didn't set up any kind of screen lock, it just completely skips as well over the fingerprint. Now, anyway, next thing we have is swipe to navigate your phone. So we can try it or skip it. So basically what it will do is if you try it, I believe it then becomes enabled. And if you skip it, it keeps the typical like three button navigation at the bottom. So I'm going to go with try because I do like it more. As you can see, we have swipe to go home. Let's see, okay, so this is the guide right here. So you can actually use it. And then we have uh, swipe to go back. So swipe from either side, as you can see. And next is swipe to switch apps. So it's a swipe and hold. And as you can see, there we go. And from here, we can now select, oh, we don't get to select anything. We just get to swipe up and finish up the setup. So that is how you could go through the setup of your device. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.